Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. Uh, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about um, we are going to learn about pointers. Pointers is a very interesting uh, concept, very powerful concept, and it's a, it's kind of a, kind of an advanced topic here. So we have covered pretty much quite a bit of stuff uh, already in the previous tutorials that we can go and start talking about pointers now. Um, again if you haven't watched the other tutorials I would recommend that you watch them and please make sure that you become the fan of the Facebook page advanced C programming tutorials in high def if you haven't been already the fan uh, fan of that pa page uh, and I would also recommend that you know you become the uh, you subscribe to the channel learn Rama so that you can be notified of any new video tutorials uh, as soon as I post them uh, and also I would really highly appreciate if you could send give me some feedback as to you know uh, as to you're liking the videos or not liking the videos or if there are any suggestions for improvements or any topic that you want to cover I would really appreciate that also that way you know I know that you know there are there are people out there who are watching the tutorial and learning from it uh, and and you know care about it so anyway so let's let's get started with the with the pointers so pointers now before we start with pointers again we need some kind of background information uh, and that would be the information about how the memory is laid out in a computer so it's uh, it's you know it's pretty common concept uh, but if you don't know about it, it this is it's going to be very hard for you to understand the uh, the pointers so let's let's understand the logical view of uh, of memory okay so let's see memory in computer you know Compu every computer has some memory by definition it has to have memory where it stores the data and stuff um, your computer has memory and this is how you can visualize it to be logically the memory looks like it this it's uh, usually the memory is huge okay so think of it as having um, as ha as being a basically um, let me use lines uh, think of it being uh, a collection or a sequence of bytes and what is a byte a byte is basically simply eight bits okay and what is a bit a bit is basically either zero or one is the location the minimal location where you can store zero or one but the memory is the collection of bytes and each byte has eight bits you cannot access you can access individual bytes but you cannot access uh, even actually in all the modern computers you cannot even access individual bytes you can access only four bytes a D word at a time but you know the minimal you could access in any processor would be a byte okay you cannot access the individual bits in it so this is if this is the view of the memory if you are looking at the memory right here these are individual bytes in that memory okay and and basically what 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 memory is is be simply a collection of large number of bytes okay huge number of bytes here like this something like this okay and and each byte has an address associated with it address tells computer where that memory location exists okay it's simply a number and it basically starts from zero for the first byte and then one two three four five six seven and so on all the way to if you have n number of bytes you know you must have heard your computer has like 4 gig gigabyte of memory okay so you have 4 gigabytes of this 4 gigabytes 4 gig gig is 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 actually 1024 multiplied by 1024 multiplied by 1024 that's that's what makes a gig which is the same as 2 to the power 30 okay that's a big number it's uh, it's roughly equi equivalent to approximately equal to 1 billion so so 4 gigabytes is like 4 billion bytes so this would be like one less than 4 billion and n my last address n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 and so on okay so this is the view of the memory okay now and and each memory is has has an address associated with it to access a particular address or the value stored in that address you use the uh, value stored in that location you use its its address 
okay so when we basically when in uh, when we write in in our c program when we write int x what what happens at this point what happens is the computer allocates a memory or the operating system actually allocates the memory uh somewhere memory for this uh, variable x and integer are basically four bytes long so this variable x is actually four bytes long okay it is four bytes long so it allocates four bytes for it so say for example it allocates these four bytes for it okay these four bytes right here okay and calls it the variable x and actually x represents this address the start of this four byte location which is start address of this four byte location which is four okay so uh, actually x represents the value stored in it but the address of x is in this particular example is four okay so later on in the program if i say x is equal to twenty thousand four hundred and sixty five for example okay what it does is at this point when it runs this statement when it executes this statement what it does is it writes twenty thousand four hundred and sixty five in all these four bytes together combined together okay in this four byte location it writes twenty thousand four hundred and sixty five okay so this is the value of x so x represents x is the same as the value of x okay now there is an address associated with the x also and how would you access the address of x how would you know what the address of x is there is an operator called ampersand so in c program if you write ampersand x what this means is the address of the location where the x the value of x is look is stored okay so x means in this particular example it is same as 20000 sorry 465 okay but ampersand x is the address of x which is in this particular example 4 usually addresses are also very huge they are not like 4 5 6 because in the the beginning of the memory is already filled up with special things okay so when when by the time your program runs you know all this memory is already filled up you'd get to run somewhere in the middle of the memory and this address is huge number it's not a small number but just for our example sake we are thinking that the address is 4 okay so ampersand x represents the address of x and which is 4 okay now in c you there is a concept of pointers okay pointers are basically as the name suggests they point to memory locations okay they can point here they can point here they can point here here okay and how do you declare an, a pointer this is how you declare a pointer you write the type then you write the star asterisk you know the 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 character which is uh, on top of the 8 when you shift 8 will print this thing you know you display this thing and then the pointer name okay so for example for example if you want to declare an integer pointer you say int pointer px okay you can name it anything you want okay we usually we i tend to write p before before the, some name whatever name i choose i write p so that it i can just by looking at it i know that it's a pointer okay and then if you and, and if you have a variable called x you can you declare it like this and then what you could do is you could say px is equal to the address of x now remember pointers can take the value of the values that pointers take are the addresses of the memory location okay so you can say px is equal to address of x okay and what it would mean is that the value of p x now think of the visualized pointers like this okay uh, let's let's stop here and let's continue this tutorial in the next video because i am running out of time thank you so much